Grace Lake North. Welcome to Night's News. I'm Kelly Eppel. And I'm Kylie Sudan. The anticipation is killing me. For spring break? No, for this episode. Well, and spring break. Well, let's get started then. March is Women's History Month. It's time to recognize the accomplishments of women. Tara and I decided to ask some knights who the most important women in their lives are. Hey guys, it's Kelly. And Tara from GNHS TV. And today we get GNHS's take on Women's History Month. Women's history has been celebrated since the early 1900s. The men at Grace Lake North show their support for women. Hi, I'm Jack Herpin. Uh, I'm super thankful for my mom. She uh, really helps me with a lot of my stuff. She's really helping me with college and everything, so I'm just really thankful for her. Hi, I'm Mr. Frerichs. Um The woman that I'm most thankful for is definitely my mom. Um, she sacrificed a lot for me growing up, um, basically doing everything that I needed, and um, I'll forever be in debt to her. So yeah, that's why my mom's my most important person. Hello, I'm Mr. Kelly. My favorite woman in my life is my mom. Uh, unfortunately, lost my mom when she was young and when, uh, when I was too young, but never stopped me from loving her and learning from her. Uh, I know that she's still with me today. I feel it all the time. Love my mom. Hi, I'm Tyler. My favorite woman in my life is my mom because she's my mom. Hi, my name is Mario Ballern, school resource officer for Grays Lake North, and my favorite woman it's a tough call between my mom and wife. Um, my mom for being there uh, throughout my life and teaching me uh, a lot of things in life, how to live life and be self-supportive. And uh, my wife for being the lovely lady she is, mom and, and wife, um, and showing me the true meaning of love. Hi, my name is Drake. The favorite, my favorite woman in my life is my mom. She's a great inspiration to me. She helps me with a lot of things, and overall, she's just a really great lady. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to celebrate all of the women in your life, not only this month, but all the time. Spring sports are finally here. Anahi checked in with the softball team to get their outlook on the upcoming. As spring's around the corner, softball season is coming up, so here are a few softball players that are going to be expressing some of the few things they're looking forward to. Um, I'm looking outcome. forward to meeting new people and having new experiences with our new team. Well, I'm just having so much fun with my new team and being a... <laughs> Uh, so this season, I look forward to having a new group of girls that get to know each other. And that wraps it up for what the softball players and coach has to say for the upcoming season. Thanks, Anahi. We wish you the best of luck. Since we're already on the topic of sports, let's take a look at your story about soccer. Hi guys, I'm Kylie Sudan, and today I'm going to be interviewing Tara about her upcoming season and her input. With the season coming up, we get an inside scope from one of our players. Hi, I'm Tara. I'm a senior and I'm a varsity soccer player. I'm excited to play because it's my last year with all my teammates. Central is our competition in almost every sport. I play defensive mid and I like it because I can also go out the field and shoot and I can also go back and play defense. When playing on a high school team, you will get to try out many different roles to widen your experience as a soccer player. Our team players love to support each other by music videos and taking aesthetic pictures. This is Kylie Sudan with GNHS TV. It's going to be a fun season. It's always great to hear when North graduates are finding success in the world. Rory caught up with the artist Danielle Gross about what she's doing. This is Rory Dwyer with GNHS TV. Today I'm interviewing GNHS alum, artist Danielle Gross about her career after high school. What year did you graduate high school? 
I graduated in 2016. Nice, nice. What are some of your favorite classes that you took at North? Oh, man. I was just thinking about this. I really liked all of my art classes with Miss Bott. I loved those. Um, I had AP Euro with Mr. Grunlow um, and AP uh, U.S. History, but I loved that class. Um, and obviously, all of my English classes, my class with Mr. Lard, I loved. <laughs> and I would say that anyway. <laughs> what are some challenges that you overcame to get where you are today? Oh, man. I mean, probably just you're always told from a young age when you start pursuing the arts that it's not you're not going to make money it's not a career it's a hobby and um just that there's really not a it's a lot of people pushing you in a direction away from the art when all you want to do is the art so I think it was just like taking everyone's thoughts and opinions and trying to cultivate that into something that like still taking everyone's opinions to heart but still pursuing what I wanted to do with that passion still but just knowing that uh, there is failure and there are going to people who if you do fail will say I told you so (laughs) (laughs) what's your favorite medium of art or how has it changed throughout the years well oh okay so when I first started I drawing my probably my favorite medium I only had good ideas at restaurants at on a napkin with a pen like I was only able to create if it was like a dirty napkin I was like oh now I have an idea so that was like my first medium was like ballpoint pen on restaurant napkin um and then I did a lot of uh like graphite and mechanical pencil just on printer paper watercolor paper um and I was super against graphic or um what's it called digital art I was very against it I was like I'm a traditional artist uh and then I eventually tried it and I loved the digital medium and just how quickly I was able to go and how you didn't have to like account for erasing time or anything you didn't have to get messy doing it so probably digital art is my favorite now because I can do everything I could do on paper but just quicker and easier Um, And now that I'm trying to be a tattoo artist, I think eventually tattooing will be my favorite. Uh, What's your advice for young artists? Oh, I think just do art because you love it and for no other reason than that. Like you don't, you might want it to be a career. You might want it to make you a bunch of money. You might want it to become famous. You might want it for all these other things. But if you don't do it because you love it and it's just something you have to do, then it's a, it's going to become a job like any other and it's going to become monotonous and there's going to be parts of it you don't like. So just make sure it's always a passion. Um, and if it becomes not a passion, then try other mediums because creativity doesn't and just because you get bored of expelling it in a certain way. Thanks, Danielle. That's awesome. This is Rory Dwyer with GNHS TV. Thanks, Rory. Danielle is a great example of following your passion. Most definitely. Hey, speaking of the fun, you know what's coming up? Senior Assassin! Alex has the story for us. This is Alex Carmelos with GNHS TV. Today we're going to be talking to some seniors, seeing what their strategies and plans are and how they're going to win Senior Assassin. Let's get into it. Oh. What are your plans for Senior Assassin? I'm going to go on ghost mode, lock myself in, and not talk to anybody for a solid two months. Who do you going to win? Me. Okay. I'm, well, my plans are, I got no plans. I'm not going to stay in my house like a loser. I'm going to be going out, so we'll see. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, definitely Art of Chef, because he does not leave his house. So, it's game over for everyone else. What are your plans for Senior Assassin? Uh, my plans, I'm going to be camping out at everybody's house. No one's safe at their jobs. Like, I'm going for everybody. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, I don't think I'm going to win. I, I personally feel like I'm going to get out because I'm stupid, but probably uh, I think Arnav Sheth is going to win. <laughs> what are your plans for Senior Assassin? I'm going to win, and I'm also planning to get the most kills out of anyone else, so I'm going for like 10 plus. Who do you think is going to win? Who's got the highest chance of winning? Me. I'm, I'm going to win. You know, everyone thinks that I'm an easy target, but really, like, no one's, no one's going to find me. Like, you won't be seeing me once it starts. What are your plans for Senior Assassin? Uh, I plan on getting everybody out. And who do you think is going to win, Senior Assassin? 
I think it'd be someone I've ne I can't even think of because they're like no one just no one's gonna come get them and they're just gonna live by like no kills, no wins. And then I don't know. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be bounty hunter. I'm gonna be a bounty list demon. Senior assassin? Um, to win, have fun, and get as many people out as possible. And who do you think is gonna win? Me. Watch your back. I'm gonna get you out. For sure. Finally, we have a story that couldn't be more timely. Shoshana finds out people's spring break plans. I'm Shoshana Chisholm. Since we made it around halfway through the semester, it's time for spring break. I'm gonna be finding out all the fun things everybody has planned with their week off. I decided to go on the on the plane. Let's see where they're headed. For spring break, I'm going to Disney World with my family and my girlfriend. I'm excited to go on Disney World rides and swim with my family. Now we'll hear about what some people who are staying local will be up to. Um, I'll probably get like extra hours at work and focus on dance. During spring break, I'm going to be celebrating Ramadan while studying for my AP exams and the SAT. Be sure to make the most out of your week off. Shoshana Chisholm, GNHS TV. That's going to do it for this episode of Night's News. Make sure to follow us on social media and tell your friends and family to do the same. I'm Kelly. And I'm Kylie. Have a great spring, spring break, break nice. Nights. Woo! Hello, Grays Like North. Welcome to Night's News. I'm <laughs> Kylie! <laughs> It's always great to hear when North graduates are finding success in the world. Rory caught up with the... I can't... It's going too fast. It's already, <laughs> it's already gone. I already said success. <laughs> Thanks, Rory. Danielle is a great example of following your passion. Most definitely. Hey, speaking of the following, you know what's coming up, right? Senior Assassin! You Alex has the story for us. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad if they left. <laughs>